Today, President Trump is weighing in on how to respond to an alleged chemical weapons attack in Syria. He blamed Syrian leaders and its allies for the incident over the weekend. Mola Lenghi reports from the White House. Rebel leaders in Syria say dozens of people were killed in an apparent chemical attack in Douma, Syria. We received uh, many patients who suffered, suffered from symptoms compatible with exposure to chlorine gas, high concentration chlorine gas. President Trump is considering how the U.S. should respond, and all options are on the table. We are meeting with our military and everybody else, and we'll be making some major decisions over the next 24 to 48 hours. Sunday, he tweeted that Putin, Russia, and Iran are responsible for backing animal Assad. Big price to pay. If it's Russia, if it's Syria, if it's Iran, if it's all of them together, we'll figure it out and we'll know the answers quite soon. It remains to be seen how the alleged chemical attack will change long term U.S. strategy in Syria. Just last week, the president told his military advisors he wants to pull the U.S. out of the country within the next six months. It's uh, time to come back home, and we're thinking about that very seriously. New National Security Advisor John Bolton spent his first day on the job advising the president on how to proceed. He's been hawkish on Syria in the past, advocating for more airstrikes. At least 14 people died in a missile strike on a Syrian airbase overnight, including three Iranians. Russia, which supports Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, blamed the airstrike on Israel. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House.